the purpose of this video is to talk about instruments that are used to measure length. So here I have got a rule, I've got vernier calipers and micrometer screw gauge. These are the basic instruments that are going to be used in the IGCSE extension syllabus for measuring length. Now for accurate measurement of uh, uh, the rule scale, you must make sure that you, there is no parallax error. In other words, the eye is play positioned in line perpendicular to the point to be read to avoid this parallax error is shown. So the first one day on the left hand side, on my left hand side is wrong, but then the middle one, that's the correct one. So your eye should be directly above, perpendicular to the point where you are reading it. Now the vernier calipers is used to measure internal and, out, and uh, external diameters of uh, tubes or circular cross-section uh, objects. Now as you can see, the inside jaws are these ones, right? And then the outside jaws are those ones. So the inside jaws are used to measure the internal diameter of the tubes and then the outside diameter used to measure the external diameter. Now we have a vernier scale here, it's marked here. Maybe I can zoom in, and let's see. Now the vernier scale is that one, and then the main scale is the one that is underneath it. Now when taking a reading on the vernier calipers, uh, you take the reading on the main scale before the zero reading of the vernier. So this is the zero reading of the vernier. I hope that is clear. I'll try zooming in. Right, the zero reading is that one of the of the vernier. So you take the maximum reading on the main scale before the zero reading. In this case, it is uh, 5.2, as you can see, 5.2 on there. And then you take the reading on the vernier scale where it exactly coincides with the reading of the main scale. So at this point here, I think that should be five because it's right in between. And then you write it down. You add a decimal point in front. So as you can see, it is uh, zero 0.5 there. So this will be 5.20 and then that will be 0 0.05. Then you add the two readings then you get 5.25 centimeters on this one. One thing you need to do is, before you take the reading, you have to close the jaws, and then make sure that you take the, read, the zero reading or the zero error reading. In this case, there's no zero error because the main scale and the vernier scale, they coincide when the jaws are fully closed. In this case here, you have the main scale reading is uh, 2.1 and then the vernier scale reading at 4 that's where they really coincide therefore uh, if you add the two readings you get 2.14 remember to take or to add the decimal point in front on the vernier scale therefore a vernier calipers can measure up to two decimal places in the centimeter uh, reading now moving on to the micrometer screw gauge. The micrometer screw gauge has so many parts. As you can see, you have the anvil face, the spindle face, the spindle, the lock nut, the sleeve, the thimble, and the ratchet. Right. So the object to be measured should be placed between the anvil face and the spindle. A micrometer screw gauge can measure uh, to an accuracy of 0 0.01 millimeters. Therefore, it is the most uh, accurate instrument that you can measure for measuring length. You turn the thimble until um, the jaws close and then when you hear a clicking sound on the ratchet then you know that uh, the, the jaws are fully closed. Care must be taken not to uh, over tighten it. 
Uh, when you do so, you then take the zero reading, which is the zero error. So in this case, you can see that there is no there is no zero error on the instrument. The jaws uh, or the two scales are coinciding; they are closing. When using the micrometer screw gauge, uh, you take the the sleeve scale first, right? Which is in this case the main scale. So in this case here, I think it is uh, uh, 4.5, 4.5 because they've got zero, 0 0.51, 0 1.52, 2.53, 3.54, 4.5. That is the last division that you can see there on the sleeve. And then you take the reading on the thimble um, where it meets the sleeve, where the, where the two meet. So in this case, I think you can see that it is on 12, because that's 10, 11, and 12. So you put a decimal point on the thimble scale, and then you add the two readings. So it's going to be 4.5 on the sleeve scale, plus 0 0.12 to give you 4.62 millimeters. Looking again, so it's 4.5 plus 0 0.12, 4.62 millimeters. So the precautions, you must never tighten the thimble too much and you should always clean the ends of the MVO and spindle before measurement so that you don't get a, a wrong reading of dust that could have accumulated or small particles. And then you always check for zero error like I've shown you before. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Alan Tove. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like.